Hi, this is the Maxo M3 camera here. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show how I mount it to a helmet. Um, so that's, that's this camera here. It gets about seven hours of battery life. Um, it's continuous recording. It has uh, Bluetooth, so I can listen to um, music or talk to people. Uh, there's a microphone also for it. Um, it can communicate with other devices, other headset uh, intercoms, and it can take still photos when the uh, video is recording. So that's what I'm going to cover here in this video. Set that aside. So this is the helmet I've been using all summer. This is the Troy Lee Design Stage Helmet. It's very lightweight. Uh, it's got a lot of air holes in it. And uh, it's going to be too, too cool to use in the winter. Um, but I'll show you how I had this mounted. There's a bracket here. There's two brackets that come with the helmet. And this is the one they call the clamp. Because it... Uh, show there in the video there. It's got these uh, screws that you can adjust, these bolts here, you can adjust these and clamp it on the edge of the helmet. The other type of fastener that it comes with is a self-stick to stick on the side of the helmet. And because I wasn't really sure how it was going to work out on this helmet, I didn't use the stick one. Um, there's holes here and I wasn't sure where I wanted to actually put the camera. I'll show you that this snaps on like that. And uh, that's how I use it. So you can see um, it's a little bit bigger than uh, other communicators, but it does have the camera in it, and I appreciate that. Now, it does seem a little weird here. I've got these wedges back here. These are when you put flooring um, in your house. You can buy these wedges, shims, whatever you want to call them. Um, and the problem I had is before I had those in there, and I had this tightened in here, my video was all... Uh, it's a little bit tilted sideways. Um, so uh, after I'd record it and I'd want to do something with it, uh, I'd have to run it through some software to straighten it. And that wasn't fun. That was extra effort that I didn't want to have to deal with. Um, I wish there was a, a mechanism here where I could turn this to adjust the center or something like that. Um, so what I've been doing is just using these two pieces of um, shim here to wedge and just make this protrude a bit and uh, that's been working pretty well uh, I do wish I had something a little bit more permanent on here uh, sometimes these wedges pop out um, so I uh, just haven't really sat down I tend to want to spend my time riding and not uh, not fiddling with things once they kind of work uh, but now if winter's coming, I might have some more downtime and I'll be working on that. Uh, from the inside, you can see here, get this light adjusted. Um, here's a headphone right here. And there's another one right here. And they're connected with Velcro. And I could pull it off. I never have pulled them off. Um, I just don't want to tear this, this real thin um, styrofoam on that piece there. Um, so the wiring is inside here and there's a wire, this wire here that I will take when I'm ready to use it and I open this up and I plug that in there and that's how I ride with it. So that's, yeah, that's all the way in. Uh, that's how it's connected. Um, and then I can hear uh, the device talking to me and I can hear people and I can use Google Voice. I do have a microphone in here and uh, there's a little bit of Velcro behind this also and it's this is the uh, the soft one. Now there's another microphone that comes with this that has a, a bendable wire type boom mic and uh, I didn't see the need to use that in this helmet but I will in the next helmet I believe. This is my next helmet. This is the Scorpion uh, EXO AT950. 
Um, I picked this up used. You can see uh, there's the brand there. And I wanted this for the winter because it will um, seal my head in better. I had a not so great motorcycle helmet last winter and it worked. It, it just was kind of uncomfortable. Um, it wasn't vented at all. Um, so I'd have to keep the visor open a crack to keep it from fogging up. Um, so the reason I wanted this particular helmet here is because it's modular. Um, and what that means is I can press a button here and open up the whole face there. Um, and uh, another advantage of a modular helmet then is that if I have to, this happens a lot in the winter, I, my nose runs and I have to wipe my nose, then I have more access to my face. I can take a drink. I can talk to people without being behind this whole helmet thing and then easily pull this back down. Um, most modular helmets also have uh, a built-in visor. So I don't have to worry about wearing sunglasses. Uh, it does happen in the winter, you get snow blindness. So, um, Let's get some dust on there. But there's a lever on the side here that lets me adjust that visor. Uh, I will mention to you that uh, some of these modular helmets have this lever here. This lever is down here. And I didn't want a helmet that had it down here because that is going to interfere with the mounting of my camera. So today, I'm going to try to mount the camera somewhere right here. Now, what I need to figure out is where to put it uh, this way and uh, what angle to put it at. And maybe I'll need to wedge it to make it uh, angle out from the side of the helmet. So, Let's begin. I ordered from Amazon uh, an extra mounting bracket and microphone. So I'm assuming that's what's in here. Okay, that is the clamp bracket. And this will be the microphone. Let me not open that one yet. So what I've got here Oh, it's got both of them, I see. So this is the bracket that can stick to the side. Um, and this is the bracket that I'm using on this helmet here that uh, clamps. And it uh, this one didn't come with an, uh, an Allen wrench, but my original one did. So let me open this up, and this is, a, this is what you get in the box. Uh, there's the microphone that's on a bendable wire. I might be able to just use this one without even opening up this other pack. Um, and there's my Allen key. So I'm going to start by opening this up. Okay, so now I've got some flexibility to adjust that. Set this aside here. And let's see what I've got here. So on this helmet, let me adjust my camera a bit here, raise it up. And by the way, I've got rabbits in this room. And you may hear them scurrying around their cages right over there. Okay, so this has a liner that can uh, come out in this helmet. And so there's a gap here that I can hopefully get this wedged in there. That looks like that'll fit rather nicely right, right there. And now I've got to figure out how far forward I, I can get the camera without it interfering with the opening 
of the mechanism. Uh, I don't want to slam this down one day and have it knock my camera off and uh, damage it or lose it. Um, another problem I'm trying to uh, avoid is when the camera's on the side of your helmet, I don't want to record the side of my helmet. Uh, is I want to get as little of the helmet in the picture as possible. Uh, it's uh, kind of hard with it being right on the side uh, and this being a, a the wide angle of this is, I think it's 120 degrees wide angle, but uh, it doesn't say it right there. Let's see if it says it on the box anywhere. Show you this while I'm looking at it. Oh, this does also have an FM radio in it as well. Not the greatest. No antenna, and you can't tune it otherwise, other than saying scan up or scan down okay so it didn't say anything about the, the angle of the camera but it is what it is so i'm going to try to screw this in there and see what kind of ways i can clamp this and at this point i don't know if i'm going to spend a lot of time editing this video uh, and cutting these parts out editing takes a lot of time and I am a programmer and so I spend all my time at a computer and the reason I like this hobby is because it gets me away from the computer so that's unfortunate I like to make videos but I don't want to spend any more time at the computer okay that's on as tight as the uh, screw will allow but I still think it's got some some play in it uh, so I don't know how secure that'll be I might have to put something behind it in order to um, let's get this pad in there too might have to put something behind it okay so I'm not sure how I'm gonna record a video of me testing this when I need to use my phone for that so I might have to uh, do some experimentation here so what I want to do basically is put the camera into um, Wi-Fi mode which I think is uh, holding down this button here it's easier when you have the the speakers plugged in the headphones plugged in because it'll talk to you in a Chinese accent and you have to kind of listen carefully because sometimes it says camera on and camera off but they sound the same um, but that'll be to show you say Wi-Fi on when I hold that and then I can go into the app on the phone and uh, see what's coming out of the camera and then I can adjust it up and down and see how much it's hitting this picking up the side of the helmet um, so I'm gonna work on that probably offline here you won't be able to see me working on that um, and then we'll come back and see what I've done in uh, in the meantime so I'm gonna stop this I'm gonna set this down here. So what you can see here is I'm trying to level the camera. What I'm gonna do is take a wedge well the audio is here but I'm gonna take one of these wedges and put it behind the camera to see if that levels it off more. Well actually it's going the wrong way. I already put one wedge in there. There we go. Okay so maybe I don't need a wedge with this motorcycle helmet. So that's good news because Maybe it wasn't designed for the curvature of this helmet on the side, and it does need wedged more, which is, which must mean it must be straighter on the side than a normal motorcycle helmet. So I'm I'm kind of happy with this recording right here. Um, it does seem to be to be level. Um, now the up and downness of it, then I can adjust uh, by. The screws and I don't need to worry about using any wedges so I won't need these this is good news and the next step is to 
Um, you don't, so you see the, the side of, of the helmet here, even if I open it. So you don't see it there. So it's just a minor inconvenience to have that in there. It did hit the edge of the camera. Maybe I even want to slide it back more. Um, I'm going to start with a position like that and see how it goes. Well, in order to know how this works, I'm, I am going to open, need to open this package. I uh, just realized because um, definitely, even if I don't need the extra microphone that's in here, I do need the headphones. That's why I bought this. So inside that pack, uh, seems like I've got two headphones in here. Where's the opening here? down a little more here there we go so this helmet here has um, provision inside there's wells inside here designed um, for head headphones so there is a spot there where these headphones will actually uh, kind of be countersunk into so let me show you that there's an extra soft microphone here's the okay to we'll save these stickers for later i can disconnect this right here okay but looks like I didn't get an extra soft microphone in this kit. I figured I would get one of everything in it, but that's all I got, which is fine. Okay, so while I'm going to be working with this, I need to plug in. It's a, it's a micro USB connector, but it's used strictly for the audio. You don't charge through this port. You don't download through this port. Um, there is another, where are we at here, another USB port right here, uh, micro USB, that's used for charging and downloading your video. Um, and then this port right here is uh, where your SD card is. So I've got the speakers there, and now when I, I'm going to turn the camera up a little bit, now we should be able to hear it when I turn it on. So it just said DVR on. And now if I hold this for two seconds, this should turn on the Wi-Fi. And let's see if we hear that. Wi-Fi off. And it said Wi-Fi ah. Uh. So it doesn't uh, say it clearly enough. It doesn't uh, enunciate really well uh, on and off. So I got the Wi-Fi on in here. Now I can start the, uh, the RICAM app on the phone and see what the video looks like. So I'll stop the video here for this. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I discovered, I don't know if that video is gonna turn out or not, but what I discovered was I don't need wedges with a motorcycle helmet. The angle on the side of uh, this helmet um, is the correct angle for it to produce a level video. Uh, so this helmet uh, here must um, be curved, well, be straighter, and so it needs to wedge it out. I need to put those wedges in there to get the video to be straight. Okay, the next step that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to try to mount these uh, speakers inside and then if I'm ambitious enough after that I will uh, put in the microphone so I'm going to disconnect this here and quick release and remove that and now I need to take out 
the inside of the helmet. It took me a while to get this back in, so I'm not looking forward to tucking it all in again, but that's what it is. See what I can do here on my lap. Okay, I don't know if you can see that in there, but right here is a depression where I'm going to try to mount a headphone there. Now, there's a long wire and a short wire here. Um, the long one, obviously. It's going to have to be on the opposite side of the helmet go across the top of my head or behind my head so this this one's a longer one here let me figure out how i'm going to do that in here maybe i should mount that one first get a sticky pad a velcro pad here and I'm gonna put that in here I don't know if you can see where my hands are or not there we go I've got the dog barking in the background so please ignore that my camera equipment is just my phone so Okay, I've got this sticky part. I oh, put that in there. Probably should have wiped that with an alcohol wipe first. Um, I just cleaned this helmet. I haven't used it since I purchased it used. So it, that should be clean in there anyway. I'll take, let's get these untwisted. Maybe I'll set this camera at a wide angle so you can pick up more. There, you should be able to see more of what I'm doing here. Now this part doesn't come apart anymore. And I wanna use this part here because that's the long one. Let's see. How I wanna route that wire inside the helmet. Like, oh, I can get it across there, yeah. Instead of ripping this out, again, I can just drop it through here. So now I'm just going to apply this to that velcro pad there and there'll be a wire here I don't see a place to safely route the wire I don't want to get it across this hole here but there'll be a pad here otherwise um, so that ought to be a good spot and then I route it across the top of the helmet and down to this side here and the next step then is to Mount the other Velcro. Let me find another piece of Velcro. There's that. That feels very dry in there. Okay. Velcro's in there. Now, I'm going to have these wires here, and I don't want them... I guess there'll be a pad over it. Yeah, I don't want them interfering and hurting my ear at all. And then this wire, like I have on the other helmet, what I did... 
is I ran the wire through a gap underneath the bracket um, just so I didn't have it dangling. There might be a day where I'm riding without the camera on. Um, so um, I can just kind of tighten it up like that instead of having it dangle. So maybe I'll maybe I'll do that here, which means I need that wrench. Because so I don't just want these wires just dangling all the too much too much wire to be dangling in my opinion so I'll take the wire fish it through here There's nothing special about me that makes me more capable of doing this than, than you. Um, I'm not a, a builder or a maker or anything. Um, so I got some play there, a little bit, a little bit snug, which is what I want. Okay, so there's some weight dangling in there. I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I'll start out with it this way. And then, now I've got this wire here. Oh, I didn't realize it was off there. Get this wire here that's for the microphone. Now I explained to you here, it shouldn't take long to figure this out. Oh, there was another microphone in there. Okay, so this kit did come with both microphones. Uh, on the Troy Lee helmet, the mountain bike helmet, I'm using this, they call this the soft mic and they call this the hard mic. Uh, the reason I need a hard mic on this helmet here is because it's modular. And when it breaks away from my face, I probably still want the microphone in near my mouth. Now that may get annoying having a um, microphone in front of my face at times when I don't, I'm not using the microphone. Um, so. You know, I could experiment with just putting the soft mic and mounting it to the side of my uh, face and it might pick up well enough. I did use uh, my other helmet and have some phone calls, some lengthy phone calls while I was out riding and people said they could hear me pretty well. So maybe the difference between having the microphone here and the microphone here inside of a semi-sealed helmet, uh, more sealed than the other helmet with all the vents. Um, maybe, maybe that'll be enough. So let me experiment with that and figure out where it's going to end up behind this cushion. Cause that's going to make a difference too. Cause yeah, I don't want to be completely muffled and yeah, maybe that's going to be a problem. Um, cause this is pretty thick here. And if I put it behind there, I could put it dangling out, but I think that's asking for trouble. I just hesitant to have this big microphone in there with me. Um, but I've got two of them, so maybe I'll maybe I'll give it a try and see. Um, this a little bit of extra bulk right there too that I don't want up against my cheek. Um, I haven't used this helmet yet. I tried it. It seems like it fit. Um, but I haven't used it to know it's like super comfortable. Let's see what other wells I have in here. There's another deeper well in here for this strap. I don't know if that'll be up against my cheekbone or not. Okay. So if I do that, and that snaps in there. You can see that. And then the chin strap comes through that hole. Yeah, that, that could work. I'm not sure what that's gonna be on my face, but there's plenty of padding there. So this is a bigger helmet too. A problem I had 
with uh, this helmet is I wear glasses and as I would you can see here as I would slide my glasses back they're gonna go like right through I'm mean, not seeing that here they're gonna go right through here and you can see it's starting to rip that headphone pad um, so that's that's what you deal with with having headphones I can't exactly put the headphone over my ear because there's an ear hole here um, so and I'm not even sure let's see yeah that would that would I think it goes above so we didn't buy this headset because of the high quality music that I get from it you're definitely not gonna get high quality music with these cheap headphones so please be aware of that oh and that's velcro that's good so I can remove this if I need to do any work on the helmet Okay, let's see what that gives me. And I don't need the microphone to be exactly in front of my mouth. Um, so that's sticking there now. Okay, so let's see if I can put this helmet back together. I don't have experience with motorcycle helmets, so this is a new thing for me. Oh, I see another problem here is uh, when I tuck this in, there's a wire running through here. I don't want to kink the wire. How much can I get that in there? And then there's this part back here that goes in. A special slot. Oh, there might be enough play in here if I tuck this in the edge of the helmet. I don't know if that'll fit. Do I have enough play there to wedge this on the... Mm. See if I can tuck enough of the wire down in there, maybe. Get a screwdriver here and tuck that in there. There's a pin that this has to go on, but it's really far back. Okay, let's see, where's that there? Okay, we're gonna snap this on. It's got the right amount there. Okay, um, this uh, helmet, this Scorpion AT950 uh, also has a visor, um, like, like the sun visor thing here, um, except mine didn't come with it. That I bought it used but uh, maybe in the summertime or I don't know if I'll need that in the winter but you can take this off here and mount the visor it's $20 for the visor so I got to figure out if it's worth it okay I got to put the cushion back in the other side it fell out here oh I don't want to damage that there did I get that in there I never took that one out okay Maybe this is the part of the video you'll fast forward. Just for reference, uh, tonight is a uh, light up night in Pittsburgh, which is the night they turn on all the Christmas lights in the city. And I'm gonna go down there and hang out with some friends. And so it's gonna be about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, you know, 32 is when it's freezing. So it's going to be pretty cold out, and uh, I want to make sure I've got 
this helmet to keep me warm. Usually it's my hands and my face that bother me the most being cold outside. Feet would come next. There, that snapped in. That snapped in. There's one more snap here somewhere. Yep. And that snapped in. So, we're all snapped in. Got my microphone here. When I open up the helmet. Oops. I'm using a suction cup to hold my helmet or my camera in place. Where's the uh, button for the wide angle? Right there. Come on. No, we're going the wrong way. Maybe it's already in wide angle. Okay. So. Okay. So, let's see where we're at here. up so when I'm opening the helmet I will have this out I can move it out of the way if I need to I guess we'll see how that works um, and that's secure and it's not interfering and it's kind of neat how the mount Fits right under a ridge right there. Um, so that's perfect. That That's not going to come down and then every time hit this and push it out of the way. So, looks good. Please give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the effort I put into this video. Uh, you're welcome to subscribe, but I'm not promising. I'm going to produce a lot of content. We'll see what happens.